by me come along. to be inspected by current standards of today. So these would not have been on there. I was saying they had the proper lights already. This would not count. They had to be illuminated. So I had to add those. The distance was just over whatever the minimum distance is and I had to have side lighting. So I had to add those. This model Jeep did not have turn signals. <laughs> did you have to add turn signals? No turn signals on it. So that's 1960, about 63, 64, they came out with turn signals. So I had an inspector, the guy says, do your turn signals work? So unbeknownst to him, I'm sitting up there with a couple bare wires doing this. <laughs> oh yeah, they work. <laughs> Very first unitized body. Uh, known as the McNamara G. It was uh, supposed to be quick made and disposable. So 1960 It does McNamara not have a separate frame and body. It was all unitized, sheet metal welded together. Wow. Which nice. is also the demise because they rust. You can't just get another body. It doesn't have the heavy steel frame like the older Jeeps used to have. So they are prone to rusting. <laughs> 